Max Lang made in the 15. The red and black machine starts on pole position. Owen Robbins and Finley Scott alongside him. Row two, Max Watt, Corey Paget, Will Avenden, Laura Vittles, James Hawks and Caitlin May make up the rest of the grid. Ready to race board then is on. Final for the Junior Rallycross Championship is underway here at Pembrey then. Down towards the first corner, Lang made. Robbins and Scott, oh, look at that, aggressive up the inside as they come through the first series of corners. Hugely impressive stuff there. Looks like it was Max Watts who was getting his elbows out and has now gone Joker for the first time, releasing the race leader. So what comes through the Joker, as does Will Ovenden there as well. They emerge back on track right at the back of the field, as you would begin to expect. But Max Langmaid now coming under pressure from Owen Robbins. Contact with himself and Corey Paget at the hairpin bend as they come onto the back straight then for the first time. Elbows out, early doors then here in the Junior Rallycross Championship final then. And it's all going to be very interesting to see how it all plays out. So Langmaid, who's taken a clean sweep of things so far here in the Junior Rallycross uh, class, is coming under pressure, or was coming under pressure at least in the first half of that lap from the likes of uh, Owen Robbins. But no such luck for Robbins to be able to mount a challenge on the back of Lane Maid, who's taken a clean sweep so far here today in the junior class. Going for the joker then is Finley Scott from fourth position at the start of the second lap. So the yellow machine goes off. He gets himself out of traffic, wants to get a bit of clean air and tries to get the undercut on the rest of the field. Just emerges out ahead of the number five of Will Ovenden then. So Finley Scott ahead of Ovenden, but behind the uh, number 81 of Hawks then. So that's not going to help him at all because he's right in the middle of a bit of traffic here. And when Hawks and the like take their joker in front, it could end up costing him time more than he will gain. So let's see what is going to happen then as he sits stuck behind James Hawks. Corey Paget coming under pressure then from the uh, 110. Oh, that's what Max Watt spins it round at the bottom of Brooklands. Drops right to the back of the field. So that aggressive start comes to nothing, sadly. He made his joker and drops right to the back of the pack after... Uh, losing the back end on the grass. Very easy to have done so, just coming in a bit too hot into that corner. And as such, that was all she wrote. So Langmate leads the way then from Robbins. Corey Paget goes Joker in the background, going into the uh, start of the third lap here of the finals for the Swifts. Meanwhile, side by side with Corey Paget and Laura Vittles then. And Will Avenden getting his elbows out and they get a bit of contact on in towards the left-hander into the hairpin. Oh, Finley Scott into the back there of Vittler as well. So all sorts of action taking place in the mid-pack here. And this is music to the ears of Max Langmaid and Owen Robbins. Because whilst these guys are getting caught up in lots of argy-bargy, it's allowing them to just have those few tenths of a second. And that could prove to be the difference between coming out ahead or behind when they make their jokers. So through the gravel section we go. Paget now coming under pressure from Will Ovenden, who's got the bit between his teeth. They start the third lap. We're at the halfway stage already in this final. Ovenden going for the outside line on Paget. then. No opportunity presenting itself to find his way through. Laura Vittles there trying to get herself in and amongst the mix there as well. So four drivers running head to toe as they come through the gravel section. Scott looking for a way up the inside of Vittles through there, but no opportunity presenting itself for the Scotsman. And now, it looks like Will Avenden is beginning to struggle a little bit on that gravel section. He's made a couple of uh, little errors going through there, and as such has dropped a bit of time to Corey Paget in front. So it's now three drivers who are close to one another. Max Langmaid continues on the lead of the race, two and a half seconds up the road of Owen Robbins. And no surprise at all there, Langmaid has looked very impressive. Scott down the inside of Vittles at the bottom of the circuit then. Up the inside comes Finley Scott. The Scotsman is through, and he is up a position into fourth, uh, uh, sixth place, I should say, rather, in this race. So nicely done there for Finley Scott, making good ground. Looks like Will Ovenden has just been able to close up momentarily, at least, onto the back of Corey Paget. No opportunity presenting itself for a way through. Owen Robbins goes joker then on this lap. Likewise, Caitlin May from third position. Where does she emerge in relation? Really close between herself and Corey Paget. But I think Caitlin was just able to get herself ahead of Paget. And indeed she was. She's now sitting in third place. So it's an all-out scrap for the final podium position here. Will Ovenden up the inside of Corey Paget into the hairpin bend. There's action wherever you look here. Coming down the back straight. Lots of exciting racing taking place in the Junior Rallycross final then here. I can see from my commentary position, Will Ovenden's up the inside of Corey Paget into the hairpin bend there. Going bumper to bumper, door handle to door handle, wing mirror to wing mirror. Will Ovenden up the inside and through on Corey Paget for fourth place.
over the timing line we go then and it looks like Corey Padgett's got a problem he's slowing off the racing line and problems then for the 3-2-6 as he comes grinding to a halt at the start of the penultimate lap that's a disaster for Padgett so a potential podium position went awry for him losing out to Will Abenden on that last lap and now a potential finish in the race is coming to nothing as well so that's an absolute disaster for him meanwhile Max Watt getting it very sideways on the gravel and he's going to lose out to Laura Vittles there as well so it's been a very difficult race for Max Watt following that incident early doors and he loses out to Vittles who herself runs wide coming through the hairpin bend gets it back on the straight and narrow well goodness me this is a frantic junior final and Caitlin May spun as well from the podium Caitlin May's now lost out to Finley Scott by the looks of things was there contact between them we only saw the back end of the incident but either way it looks like Caitlin May is going to miss out on her podium position Max Langmaid is on the final lap, just coming through the gravel section on the first part of the lap. But goodness me, I tell you, the only people that have kept themselves out of trouble are Max Langmaid and Owen Robbins in this race. They have not been under any pressure from anybody behind or indeed had to put any pressure on anybody in front. But it is getting very frenetic out there on track and Langmaid behind the wheel of the number 15 as I said, drove superlatively yesterday and he is going to take the victory here in round four of the junior class in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. The number 15, Max Langmaid, over the line to take the win in the final for the junior rallycross class here in Pembrey. Owen Robbins comes home in second and Will Ovenden taking that podium on the final lap from Caitlin May following that spin for the 152. Finley Scott finishes in fourth place ahead of May who comes over the line in P5.